we're asked to find the exact trig function values given theta equals 11 fourths pi radians. In this video, we will use the unit circle to determine the trig function values. When using the unit circle, sine theta is equal to y, cosine theta is equal to x, and tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. Secant theta is equal to the reciprocal of cosine theta, or one divided by x. Cosecant theta is equal to the reciprocal of sine theta, or one divided by y, and cotangent theta is equal to the reciprocal of tangent theta, which is x divided by y. For the next step, we determine where the terminal side of 11 fourths pi radians falls when sketched in standard position. Remember, one complete rotation is equal to two pi radians in the counterclockwise direction from the positive x-axis. And two pi radians is equal to eight fourths pi radians, which means we can write 11 fourths pi radians as eight fourths pi radians, two complete rotations, and then plus three fourths pi radians. Let's go ahead and sketch 11 fourths pi radians in standard position. Again, the initial side is along the positive x-axis. One complete rotation in the counterclockwise direction would be two pi radians, or eight fourths pi radians. And then we have nine fourths pi radians, which is coterminal to pi over four radians. And then we have 10 fourths pi radians, which is coterminal to pi halves radians. And then finally, 11 fourths pi radians, which is coterminal to 3 fourths pi radians. So the terminal side of 11 fourths pi radians is here, intersecting the unit circle where the point is negative square root 2 divided by 2 comma square root 2 divided by 2. And since the y coordinate is square root 2 divided by 2, we know sine 11 fourths pi radians is square root 2 divided by 2. The x coordinate is negative square root 2 divided by 2, which gives us the cosine function value. The tangent function value is equal to y divided by x. Notice how the x and y coordinates are opposites, and therefore we should be able to recognize the quotient as negative 1, but showing the work y divided by x is square root 2 divided by 2, all divided by negative square root 2 divided by 2, which again does simplify to negative 1. Next, to find secant of 11 fourths pi radians, we take the reciprocal of the cosine function value, or one, which is one divided by x. Well, the reciprocal of negative square root two divided by two is negative two divided by square root two. This is the exact secant function value, but let's also show how to rationalize the denominator. To rationalize the denominator, we would multiply the numerator and denominator by square root two. Multiplying, we have negative two square root two all over two. And notice here we can simplify again. Two divided by two simplifies to one, leaving us with a secant function value of negative square root two. Next we have cosecant of 11 fourths pi radians, which is equal to the reciprocal of the sine function value, or one divided by y. The reciprocal of the sine function value is positive two divided by square root two. Or once again, if we rationalize the denominator, we get two square root two divided by two, which simplifies to positive square root two. And then finally, we're asked to find the cotangent function value, which is equal to the reciprocal of the tangent function value. The reciprocal of negative one is still just negative one. I hope you found this helpful.